Hi and welcome. It's Dana again from Moving on the Mat with Dana. Um, joining me tonight, we're doing a little bit of yoga stretch, of course. We're going to stretch out and we're going to do some kettlebell work. So again, um, you could probably use regular weights. This one's a little more designed for kettlebells, but regular weights probably work just as well. And we're going to start with a big yoga stretch though. So it's going to be a full body, full conditioning. Starting with a stretch, let's take a deep breath and arms up. Lengthen back, stretch it out, come down to the heart, roll it forward, arch out the back, reach forward, lengthen that spine out, come back up again, bring the arms around the back, we're opening the shoulders and chest, we're pulling everything back, stretching everything out in front of the body, and bring the arm across the body, hug that arm in, we're doing a little upper body stretch here, deep breath in and out, getting the shoulder, getting the back. Bring the arm up overhead, add that little side bend, turn back up, reach around the back, see if fingertips touch behind the back, see how it goes, and then shake it out, get a shake, let's try side two, bring the arm across, hug it in, bicep shoulder stretch, deep breath in and out, really pull it in, and again arm up. Walk fingertips down, add that little extra stretch, get a little side bend, open that side rib, side oblique, lengthen it out, return back up, bring that hand around the back, fingertips reaching again behind the back. Once again, just see how it goes, see if you can touch the fingers. Either way, you're stretching, it doesn't matter if you can reach or not. We're gonna shake it out, loosen it up, take a deep breath in. Take it to a side bend, open those side ribs, look to the ceiling or sky, lengthen that spine out, reach that arm out, come back up, deep breath in, other side up, overhead reach, lengthen it out, open those side ribs, reach along, lengthen it out, come back up, let's take another deep breath in, arms all the way up, and then just slowly fold forward, and we're going to sink forward, see if you can touch those toes, lengthen the spine out, roll into it. Kind of doing that Uttanasana or deep forward bend. Slowly roll up, front quad stretch here, we're going into dancer. So grounding that one leg, bring the other leg up, open the front hip and thigh, balancing, lengthening, reaching, opening chest, back shoulders. Just take your time with this, deep breath in and out. And then release that leg, step it forward into that lunge, sink into that front knee, sweep both arms up. We're in our warrior pose, first warrior, deep breath in and out. Relax, ground those feet, feel those legs stretching, front knee bending back, heels sinking, arms opening wide, two, warrior two, float those arms out, open the chest back, shoulders, reverse, warrior, lift that front arm up, gaze up, come back out long and wide, to center again, and a little twist towards your bent knee side, open as wide as you can, float it out, reach long, lengthen it. Relax. Okay, let's go to the other side. So I'm shifting weight to the other side. Opposite foot comes up. Open that front hip and thigh. Then lengthen the arm up and just see about balancing and lengthening. Opening the front of the body, lengthening your spine. Opening that front hip. Take a deep breath in and out. Just balancing, lengthening, stretching and breathing. And then when you're ready, just release. Step it forward. Sink into that back heel. Bend into that front knee. Keep the, everything parallel. Sweep those arms up, relax, shoulders at the top, deep breathing, and then again opening wide to warrior two, open the shoulders, open the chest, round through those feet, lengthen everything out, reverse warrior, gaze up, reach up, come back long and wide, let's return to center, back to first warrior, again ground those feet, open wide to warrior two, twist, this is the twist out, and relax. And let's just finish off with a few more shoulder rolls. Really loosen up those shoulders and back muscles. Then let's go the other way forward. Deep breath in and out. Okay, relax out. Shake it down, shake it out. And then we're going to bring the ear to one side. And this hand's just coming up the back. Again, just resting the hand on the back as the ear drops to the shoulder, opening that side neck. And hand on top gently, opening and just stretching through the side, neck, shoulder, deep breath in up, just relax. Don't overdo this one. Relax down. Let's try the other side. 
you're dropping to the shoulder, hands sweeping around the back, hand resting on the mid back, this hand coming up and just resting on top, deep breath in and out. Relax and open that side neck shoulder, release and just swing it out a few times, shake it out a few times and we should be ready to go. Hopefully the legs are a bit stretched out. Did stretch them out, let's shake them out again. Shake our hands, wrists, feet, ankles. Okay, so it's a little mini warm up. We're gonna go into some kettlebell work. So a little bit of toning coming right up, okay? So the first exercise, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna be on a little angle, but I'm gonna have one arm coming forward and one out to the side. Then I'm gonna switch it, okay? So it's one arm front, one arm side. One arm front, one arm side, just to the shoulder, try not to go past the shoulder. Just nice and controlled, don't do it too fast. Breathe out, breathe in. One front, one side. One to the front of the body, to the side of the body. And then switching sides, let's do four more. Breathe out and in, lift, relax, to the shoulder blade, to the shoulder blade. We're working those shoulders and arms, one more each side. Breathe out, breathe in and rest okay then i'm going to come to just feet parallel hip width apart we're going to get into the upper back shoulder area holding weight in each hand folding forward coming into a long flat back so it looks like this long flat back and you're going to pull through the back shoulder squeeze the elbows in getting those latissimus dorsi muscles relax down lift up so this is three parts here Forward fold, getting into those hamstrings, long flat back, pulling the arms to the side, squeezing through the shoulder blades, getting into those lats, relax down, lift up. So again, flat back, slide and squeeze. You can have a slight bend of the knee, just not a big bend. And lengthen, let's do five more. Long flat back, slide, squeeze, side, come down, lift up. Let's do four more, flat back, Pull through the back shoulder, squeeze those elbows together, relax, and lengthen just a couple more times. Tailbone out, flat back, heads up, slide through the side, squeeze through the shoulder blades. Rest. Last two, flatten that back, squeeze through the shoulder blades, keep those elbows close to the body, relax down, lengthen one more time. Flat back, tailbone out, heads up, pull it through, squeeze out, rest down, and lift. Okay, for the next couple exercises, I'm going just to one weight. We're doing a little bit of leg and upper body for this next one. Toes out a little more than hip width, or if you have a mat, I'm on my mat here, so a little more than the mat, just the edges. We're going to go down low, bend those knees, keep them above the toes, and lift up high. Okay, so I'm going to move back a little so you can see better. So bending knees, lifting it up, going low, pulling it up, breathe in, breathe out. And again, we'll just do five more of these. Five, four, breathe in, breathe out. Three, last two, lift it up. One more, good. Okay, let's bring the hands just across the chest. I've got one hand on each side of the kettlebell. If you're using weight, just hold on the edge of the bells, the dumbbells. I'm gonna push forward, rotate, rotate, center and in. So it's out, twist and turn. Pull it back in, so push forward, twist, twist, and in. Straight out, turn, turn, and in. Let's do four more. Out, twist, twist, pull it in. Push it out, twist, twist, and in. Again, breathe out, twist, twist, pull it in. Two more, out, turn, turn, in. Last time, push out, rotate, rotate, good. Okay, we're gonna do one more exercise. This is for the tricep, okay? So we did the back. We're gonna keep the elbow up and just press out and in. So I'm leaning on my front leg, legs are hip width apart. Keep the arm close to the side, you're just pressing back and in. Breathe out and in. Just targeting that tricep. Let's do five more again. Five, keep the back flat. Breathe out, four. Use that front leg for support. Three, keep the elbow up. Two, one more rep. The pulses, just hold it here. Press up, squeeze out that tricep, lift it. We're putting that, firing it up, energy up. Four, three, squeeze, rest. Okay, let's do side two. So same thing. So again, I got my front leg for support, bent knee, back leg long, keep the arm up, and then you're gonna push out and in. So keep the elbow up and just bending and straightening from the elbow. 
breathe out and in. Kick to the back, slow return. Breathe out, we've got four more to go. Four, breathe out, breathe out three, squeeze out two, pulses, little lifts, gain that tricep, squeeze out, lift up, push out, five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, mini break, little stretch, arm across the chest, hug that arm in, bicep, shoulder stretch. One hand to each shoulder, wrapping into eagle, deep breath in and out. Sweep those arms back, pull the arms open, stretch out those shoulders, pull it right down the back. Shake it out. Let's bring one knee into the chest, hold it, this is a bit of a balance. And then come back out, push out, sink it back, feel that stretch in the back leg, bend that front knee, sweep those arms up. Relaxing the first warrior, but lengthening, opening, warrior two, back up. And the twist, let's do the other side. Arm across the chest, hug it in. One hand to each shoulder, wrapping into eagle arms again. So opposite arms on top, deep breath in and out. Relax, sweep around the back, pull the shoulder blades back, drop the shoulders down. Big stretch out through the chest, back shoulders. You can fold forward a little if you want. And then we're gonna shake it, bring the knee up again, hold it for a few seconds, balancing out, tuck that knee in, and then big step back with that same leg. Push the heel back, bend that front knee, ground through the feet, sweep arms up, first warrior. Back into warrior two, float out, reach out. Return to center. Another side, little twist, and relax. Okay, good. Let's do one more set with the kettlebells. So the whole set again. So again, I'm starting with one arm forward, one to the side, then relax. One arm forward, one to the side. So one arm coming forward, then drop to center, then out to the side and forward. So just switching forward and side, forward and side. Breathe out and in. Working those deltoids in the shoulders. We're about halfway through, let's do four more sets. Breathe out, breathe in. Lift and relax to the shoulders, to the shoulders. Two more sets. Breathe out, breathe in to the shoulder blades. One more each way. Keep those abs in, keep those feet grounded. Okay, good. So now we move on to the second exercise. So arms just at the side, feet parallel, folding forward, long flat back. Get those hamstrings. Keep a slight bend in the knee, but squeeze through the shoulders, get in those back lats, relax down, lift up. Here we go again, tailbone up, flat back, heads up. Pull through the side, squeeze through the shoulder blades, rest and lengthen. Let's do five more. Flatten the back, pull through the side, squeeze through the shoulder blades, down, and then lengthen back up. Let's do four more. Flat, squeeze, rest, lengthen. Tailbone out, heads up. Pull through the back shoulder, squeeze those elbows together. Rest, and again, just a few more times. Tailbone out, flat back, pull through the side, squeeze the elbows in, rest, lengthen. One more time, flatten the back, heads up. Make sure the head's above the heart. Rest, and lift, okay. So now we're taking it down to just one kettlebell. The deep squats, legs out like a plie squat almost, holding the weight in front drop and lift so again bend the knees lift it up breathe in push up we're getting those legs and the arms let's do five more for five four three keep going for two one more excellent okay bring the legs in just a little so again legs are about hip width not much more not much less Hands are at the chest. We're gonna push forward, rotate, rotate, and in. Breathe out, rotate, rotate, come in. Again, push forward, rotate, rotate, bring it in. Four more, out, twist and turn, and in. Push out, side, side, center. Again, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Push out, rotate, Rotate, one more time, just 
focusing on those abs staying solid legs ground one last one out rotate rotate in excellent okay let's move on we're gonna do the back triceps so again legs about hip width apart front knee bent back leg long head chest up long flat back you're gonna pull the arm up keep the elbow bent straighten it and then bring it back in so I'm moving the weight from the top of my arm to the back wall or behind me straight behind me pressing out keep the elbow high feeling that tricep here it's the tricep we're working for five keep the back flat four keep the shoulders even for three breathe out two one more time one more rep press out pulses little pulses getting that tricep a little extra really kicking it pressing it about a foot up just a foot up pulse up four three squeeze good you should really feel that whole tricep burning by the end okay so on to side two switching arms switching leg forward leg back again heads up long flat back pull the arm up and here we go we're going to start now kicking it out bringing it in breathe out and then keep the back flat and again you're just bending the elbow and then straightening it back let's do five more five breathe out four keep the elbow up three feel that tricep keep the head up straight out one more time okay now pulses just that arm lifting squeezing getting that tricep keep the head up keep the back flat five four three squeeze rest excellent okay that's it it's a full body quick toning we're going to just stretch out a bit more at the end here round out the back push forward arch the back out lengthen the spine up reach all the way back big stretch again arms come around the back sweep it back pull the shoulder blades back let's fold it forward sink into that stretch hamstring stretch chest stretch shoulder stretch lengthen it out breathe and come back up and roll it out again loosen it up slow circles other way round and release and then swing it out deep breath in and out relax and release those muscles shake and drop shake it out breathe in and out loosen it all out good okay coming down to the mat down to the floor just to finish off with a little bit of stretching maybe a tiny bit of toning and I'm going to move the camera down with me just to get a little more floor view okay so here we are on the ground we're gonna take a few minutes to stretch out still switching up those legs a little let's start with the bound angle pose so this is just a simple easy fairly easy if you have tight hips this might be hard but you're opening the hips you're laying the legs ground letting your spine lengthen take a few deep breaths in and out try to get those knees to drop <sighs> breathe in breathe out okay I'm letting both legs come out I'm gonna shake them out Massage out, pound them out, loosen up those legs, loosen up those thighs, hands grounding behind me to tabletop, hips lifting, opening the hip flexors, just lift those palms, ground those palms, lift the hips up, lengthen your spine out, this is tabletop, deep breathing, relax down, and we're going to just slowly reach forward, we're reaching towards the ankles here, folding into it, getting a lower back stretch, lengthening through the hamstrings, spine, Deep breathing, come back up. Okay, let's bring one leg in and over. So good, I'm grounding that foot towards the hip and I'm gonna lengthen my spine up and look out to the side wall or back wall. Deep breath in and out, open the shoulders, open the chest, lengthen that spine, look to the back, breathe in and out. Turn to center. Shake out those legs again, try to relax those muscles, pound them, pound them, pound them, massage them out, loosen it up. Let's try side two. Bring that leg up, bring that foot over, bring it in close, ground that foot down, lengthen spine up, deep breath in. Exhale to the other side, look out, breathe out, squeeze out those abs, open the chest, look to the back wall, feel that stretch. Pull a little deeper, every breath out. Okay, back into center. Let's come into easy pose. So just crossing the legs easily, hopefully easily, and then just take a minute here to relax and breathe. 
Breathe through the whole body. Fill those lungs up with air. Empty everything out. Good. Okay. So from here, I'm going to do a few circles, slow circles. I'm trying to lengthen my spine, loosening up the hip, breathing in and out. One more round, one more circle. Let's go the other way. Circle the other way a couple times. Four. Lengthen it out for three. Feel that stretch going deep. Fold forward, slide side, round back. One more round. Oh, stretch it out. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to come into all fours. So onto hands and knees. And here I'm just going to get a little more back exercises. Hands grounding, shoulder width apart, directly under my shoulders. And legs hip width apart. We're going to breathe into cow. Arch and empty out to cat. Really warm up that spine. Breathe in. Scoop up. Exhale. Empty it out. Round and arch it out. Breathe out. Let's do two more of those. Big breath in. Exhale now and out. One big breath in. The lungs up, look up. Empty and round out. Breathe out. Sink it to child pose. Sink all the way back and sink down. Lengthen your spine to the floor, tailbone sinking to the ground. Hands just reaching out in front. Forehead sinking down. Breathe into that lower back. Relax. Slowly slide up and in. And we'll come back into sitting. And we'll take a minute here in sitting, just relaxing and breathing, quieting the mind, connecting with your breath. Okay, so we're a little stretched out, we're a little toned up. We're taking just some quiet, deep breaths, trying to relax the body and mind. And then when you breathe in, just fill that air, fill the lungs, fill the diaphragm. Exhale all the stress out. Breathe in, fill the lungs up. Release any tension in the arms and shoulders. Deep breath in, fill the lungs up, fill the belly up. Exhale any tension in the spine and the sides. Again, deep breath in, fill up. Send out air all through the legs and the knees. One more time, big breath in. Breathe out any extra stress. Stay relaxed, breathing in and out. I'm going to do one minute of alternate nostril breathing. Again, I'm going to use the thumb and ring finger. You can use the pinky finger if you like, or any fingers you like. We're going to cover both nostrils very gently. And I'm going to open just my left nostril, breathing in. Close both nostrils, open right, breathe out. Close both, open left, breathe in. Cover both gently, open right, breathe out. So one nostril at a time, let's take it for another few. Breath in, exhale out, and just move at your own pace. One last set, breathe in, breath. Cover both, open right and out. Turn to regular breathing in and out. Relax the body, fill up the air and the lungs and the belly. Again, namaste. Thank you for joining me in this little quick workout with Moving on the Mat with Dana. I hope you will like this video. I hope you will come again. Namaste.